Hey everybody, let's go ahead and talk about translations. A translation is a transformation. A transformation just means we're changing something, we're transforming it. So a translation is a transformation in which every point of a shape is moved, whoops, is moved in a straight line in the same direction and by the same amount. So let's take a look at an example. Translate the shape below four spaces to the left and three spaces up. Okay, so we have point M over here, which is at one, two, and we're just going to move that four spaces to the left, one, two, three, four, and three spaces up, one, two, three, and that's going to be, um, do it in green. That's going to be our, the image of point M. So we're going to call that M prime, which is an M with a little apostrophe there. Okay, and let's see, point A here is going to move to one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. That'll be A prime. And then H, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So I'm just doing the same thing to all of these. Okay, and that's that will be H prime. And this one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, and then that's T prime. And let's just go ahead and write the coordinates of these four points. Now, well, notice something. I just did it with these four points, and then I sort of played connect the dots here. But even for the points that I didn't do explicitly, like, for example, this point over here, which used to be at 3, 2. If we move that 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces to the left, and then 1, 2, 3 spaces up, that moved over to here. So even though I didn't do that explicitly, all of these other points, which are, um, you know, just parts of these lines, line segments over here, they also got moved four spaces to the left and three spaces up. OK, now I, I something that you may be wondering about is I mentioned over here in the definition that uh, a translation is when we move the points in a straight line. And it doesn't look like what I did was a straight line. So if I go left four spaces and then up three spaces, it looks looks like the line is bent, right? But what I could have done is I could have just moved it, everything in a straight line diagonally like this. And then you can see that all of these points moved by exactly the same amount and also in the same direction. And not only the M-A-T-H points, but also uh, like this point over here, let's say, which I didn't do explicitly, it moved in the same uh, direction and by the same amount as all of the other points. But instead of doing it diagonally like that, I just broke it up into, into two moves, a horizontal move and a vertical move, okay? So let's see what uh, happened to all, where did all of our points end up? So M prime is now at negative three, five. Let's write that over here. A prime is at zero, five. H prime is at negative five, zero. Remember, we always say the X coordinate first, right? That's the part along the x-axis and then the y-coordinate second. And, oh, I put that in the wrong spot. That's h prime over here, negative five, zero. And then t prime is just at zero, zero at the origin. Okay, so something else that you might have noticed um, is that moving from m to m prime since we were moving to the left four spaces another way we could have figured out where m prime would end up is just by subtracting four from this x coordinate so one minus four is negative three and then since we moved 
three spaces up, we have two plus three is five, right? And the same thing for all of the other points. So for example, uh, negative one, uh, point H here, which was at negative one, negative three, to get to H prime, we moved to the left four spaces. Okay, so negative one minus four is negative five. And you can see the new X coordinate for point H prime is at is negative five and up three spaces. So the Y coordinate for point H was negative three and negative three plus three is zero. And so we can see the Y coordinate is zero. All right. So what else do we need to talk about here? When a translation occurs, the lengths of all line segments remain the same, the magnitudes of all angles remain the same, and line segments which were parallel before remain parallel. So let's take that one step at a time. The lengths of all line segments remain the same. So you can see that this line segment over here was one, two, three, four, from A to T, it was five spaces long. And over here from A prime to T prime, it's still five, five spaces long, five units long, okay? Um, from here, from M to A, this is one, two, three units long. From M prime to A prime is also one, two, three units long. So the lengths of all of the line segments have remained the same in the original shape and also in uh, the shape's image. So after we transform something, the sh new shape that we get is called the image, which I have that word written right over here, but I forgot to talk about it, so, I just, so that's the image. Um, so all the line segments, the lengths of them remain the same after a translation. The magnitudes of all the angles also remain the same. So over here, this angle was 90 degrees, and the angle by, uh, vertex t was 90 degrees and the angle by vertex t prime is also 90 degrees okay this was 90 degrees this is also 90 degrees um this one by m i'm just going to eyeball that and say that's about 110 degrees but uh over here it's the same as this one so the the angle by m prime would also be if this one was 110 degrees then this one is also 110 degrees and let's say this is uh, 70 degrees. I'm j again, I'm just eyeballing it. I don't have a protractor with me. So this uh, would also be 70 degrees. So the angle measures don't change when we translate something. Okay, and line segments which were parallel before remain parallel. So you can see over here that the line from M to A was parallel with the line from H to T. So what color should I use? I'll use black over here. So this line segment was parallel to this line segment. And then when we translated the whole shape over here, this line segment from M prime to A prime is still parallel with this line segment from H prime to T prime. Okay, so uh, lines that were parallel before will remain parallel in the image of the original shape. All right, so that's it and have a great day.